you've been through a lot because the calling that's over your life requires you to endure a lot. See, people talk down about you. They threw dirt on your name. And if only they would have recognized the gifts that's on the inside of you, they would have handled you with care. When God has chosen you to be a leader, a lot of times he will take you down what I like to call the critical path. The path that most can't endure. See, God allow you to go through a lot so you can endure a lot. That's why the pain you had to suffer through is directly attached to what God is calling you to do. See, when God has chosen you, he will always call you to walk down the critical path because he has ordained your footsteps. He's orchestrating your footsteps. He has called you to be the leader. He has separated you from the crowd. You are a standout. It wasn't meant for you to fit in. It wasn't meant for people to understand the gifts that's on the inside of you. You might not even recognize it at the moment. But when you give your life to the Heavenly Father, when you are obedient to his instructions, he will reveal more about you. People talked about you. People turned their back on you. You feel isolated. You feel lonely. But it's all for a bigger purpose. A leader will always feel lonely at the beginning. But the more you reflect the ways of Lord Jesus, the more you realize you was never alone because Christ was right there by your side. People follow you because they see Christ in you. See, our job is to lead people to Christ. And the only way we become a stronger leader is when we learn how to serve. When we learn how to recognize it's Lord Jesus that's going to get us from point A to point B. You was made for a purpose. Not too many people can endure what you had to suffer through. That's why God has chosen you. You are a chosen vessel for the Heavenly Father. So continue to walk this critical path that he has you on. And the reason why it's critical, because time isn't on our side. There's people that's going to need you to step up to the plate. Sometimes the pain that people carry keeps them from recognizing their purpose. See, that's why the devil always attacks the character of God's chosen. Because the more he can make you focus on what people have done to you, the less you're focusing on what the Heavenly Father has done for you. See, you're still here to glorify the name of the Heavenly Father. What people try to do to you didn't break you. They may have tried. The enemy may have put you through war. But you're still here. See, the enemy don't want you to recognize that you have the victory. The enemy don't want you to recognize that you can become a better person. The enemy don't want you to recognize how much the Heavenly Father loves you, the favor that's over your life, the gifts that's on the inside of you. That's why he attacks the character. Because he wants you to talk down about yourself. He wants you to feel guilty about yourself. But we've been redeemed by Lord Jesus. And guess what? Because you believe Christ dwells in you. The favor of God is upon you. The glory of God is upon you. The stuff that we have to suffer through can't be compared to the glory that will be revealed from within you. The enemy tried to stop Moses when he was just a baby. And his mom put him in this cradle, floating him down the river. So what the Heavenly Father did was hide Moses in plain sight, right up under the nose 
of Pharaoh. And when he got of age, he had to grow into his calling. See, that's why we must have patience as well. Have patience with yourself. Because the reason why we're going through trials and tribulations, the reason why sometimes the enemy will afflict the people that the Heavenly Father is preparing to use is because he's teaching us a very vital lesson. Trust the Heavenly Father. It takes a lot of faith. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of love. It takes a lot of hope. And hope comes from when you don't give up. When you continue to persevere. When you continue to keep going even when it's challenging. Even when times are hard. That's what hope comes from. You have something to look back on. A good memory. In a time of afflictions. In a time of darkness. But you push through because of the light of Lord Jesus. It's a lot of people that have been through some terrible things in this world. And unfortunately, Sometimes the Heavenly Father have to hide you in the presence of the ones you may call enemy. But like I said, what you had to suffer through, that's what Lord Jesus laid his life down for on the cross. See, Lord Jesus, he was born with a purpose. And that's to save us from the sins of this world. And the Bible say we must deny ourselves and pick up our cross to follow him. So it's going to be a lot of things that try to crush our spirit. It's going to be a lot of things that we got to go through. And when we look back on it, we're going to be like, wow, I can't believe the Heavenly Father kept my mind. I can't believe the Heavenly Father pushed me through. I can't believe that the Heavenly Father still wants to use me for his will. But I can believe it now. Because guess what? The environment you grew up in, that's not you. God is setting you free to use you for a greater purpose. See, when you give your pain, to the Heavenly Father, because that's what Lord Jesus did. He entrusted the Heavenly Father with his life. But there was a point in time when he was on that cross and he said, why have thou forsaken me? It's going to be times in your life that you think the Heavenly Father has forsaken you because of all that you're going through. But there is a glorious day coming. Lord Jesus didn't stay in that tomb. And he endured a lot of pain. But now he's sitting on the right hand of God. And guess what? He is preparing a place for you and me. God hasn't forsaken you. And when you call upon his name, just like the children of Israel, he will show up. It might not be on our time. Because he may be using that situation to strengthen your faith. But he will show up. His timing is the perfect timing. So remain on the critical path. Because not too many people can endure what you went through. I pray this blessing in Jesus' name. Amen.